government been hiding the truth about aliens? In a recent interview with News Nation, retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Tim Gallaudet, said it was time to come clean. Let's take a listen. I think it's about time that we do disclose that we, we are in contact with non-human intelligence. That, that's what needs to be put out there in the public. In the recent National Defense Authorization Act that was signed last week, a half-page amendment written by Republican Senator Tim Burchett that would force the Department of Defense to declassify records relating to publicly known sightings passed, but Congress granted the government authority to remove information relating to UFOs from official records if it could feasibly harm national security. The executive branch has up to 25 years within a record's creation to make it public. The bill's passage comes as an increasing number of former defense officials are pushing for more transparency regarding UFOs. Including that rear admiral that we just heard from saying that he thinks the government has been in contact with um, extraterrestrial life. And that is exactly the kind of thing we want the government to declassify that information. Uh, but as I've said when we've talked about this previously, I have no faith that this is what we'll get, even if uh, the version, the Tim Burchett version passed, because any national security exception is going to result in them redacting wide swaths of information pertinent to this subject, as we've seen on every other subject, as we've seen on the JFK assassination files, as we've seen on the COVID origins, ordered bipartisan fashion by President Biden to declassify what we know about COVID origins, what has caused our various intelligence agencies to reach different conclusions about COVID origins. We want to know. Instead, they put out a brief summary of information that is absolutely, yeah. totally public already. So national security is, is is the is the blank check for the government to deny to um, to to equivocate to thwart yeah. independent efforts to learn information and uh, anyone who has experience filing Freedom of Information Act requests at any level, local, state, federal, knows that they make the process as difficult as possible. They you know, work within the letter and spirit of the law sure. to, to make it as difficult as possible. You'll get back pages and pages of documents. Sometimes you get back too many documents to make sense of any of them. Here's a stack of papers, 99.9% .9 of which are irrelevant to your search criteria, to your query, to make it harder for you to sift through the information. And then you go through things that are just Ever blank, you know, black lines yeah. over everything. Um, it's a huge pain. Yeah, look, to your point, I know you can drive a spacecraft through the hole created by the uh, state interest national security <laughs> exception. However, I don't want to skip over the nature of what um, that national security official Gallaudet said. He didn't just say there's evidence of intelligent life. He said there's evidence of communication. Talk to them. Yes. That suggests an ongoing dialogue, if you will. So there's a lot of uh, UFO scenarios that could exist. There could have been a lone craft that had a mal malfunction that crashed to Earth, and they found the ship in the dead body, and that was that. Right. And that happened once in 1953, and that was that. Right. Um, there's a world where there was like an archaeological dig, and they found out that aliens had crashed a thousand years ago. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios in which you could discover alien life, know of alien life, find alien technology that don't involve an ongoing communication, an ongoing relationship with an entire alien civilization. And so I do wonder, is he actually communicating something real there in that clip? Was it a, a, a slip yeah, of the what tongue? Does he know? What does he know? Yes, that, that really generates more curiosity. That, that's giving us it's putting us more of an alienation scenario. <laughs> well, like uh, what was the movie Contact? Yes. Did that count? I guess that was we yes. received a communication from them. We didn't communicate back, but they told us how well, to they, assemble the spacecraft so that uh, we did communicate Jody back. Foster we sent Jodie Foster, Foster over said, there, yeah. you know. So I, I would call I would count that as communication. That is incredibly exciting. The flip side of that is the the point that we've been at I think for a long time. You and I, Robbie, is. How much right. longer are we going to keep talking about this? So uh, Ross Douthat wrote in the New York Times a few days ago a, a piece with a headline that really captured my sentiment here. It was titled, It's Time for UFO Whistleblowers to Show Their Cards. Yes. It's 100%. time. Put up or shut up time. But right. if he knows <laughs> what, what, that we've been, the government has communicated with alien life, what did we say and what did they say? 
hundred percent. Has this been transcribed? A hundred percent. Again, where's this facility? You know, I'm ready to lead my January sixth style <laughs> uh, uh, storm the building group of people. Um, I'm going to put on my 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 horns and uh, and go shirtless and say let's let's take over this facility. That's how you relate the to the democracy. aliens. Do you look yeah. more like the aliens? No, I'm doing. The, I was doing the, the January sixth. No, guy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but does that also happen? I want to confuse them about our our uh, physiognomy. <laughs> sure. um, yeah. Yeah. So look, in in his piece, I'm gonna read that he Ross raises right some now. of the same concerns that we've had. That you know, we're we're seeing people like um, Mike Rounds and Chuck Schumer have a lot of bombast at these hearings and make these kinds of demands. But what is it that they think that they know that is causing them to have so much energy around this? Um, he does a little bit of that. Um, UFO people are talking to unsavory folks, so you shouldn't believe them. Mm -hmm. Say, pointing out that. Um, Grush has gone on Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson. Not, I'm not really sure how that's relevant, except for that a lot of people go where they'll yeah. be heard. Uh, and if the mainstream media isn't interested in the story, then the mainstream media isn't interested in the story. Um, but he says, look, I'm excited about this. I'm someone who's open to this. He's a he's a believer, like we are. But at a certain point, it does feel like you're getting jerked around. Yeah, and Ross Dowd is what, and he's the only genuinely conservative, conservative, like not conservative, and I'm a member, I'm a conservative, but I hate Trump and I hate everything Republicans and MAGA and conservatives mm -hmm. stand for. That is not Ross Douthat, um, which makes him, I think, a, a very good columnist. So it would not surprise me that he's open-minded about this, but um, we can only be, we're open-minded, but we can't be, we can't be deluded. We can't be taken for a ride. We need, we need the facts. Yeah, he says, look, he, he's going through the probabilities of it, right? Like, what's the likelihood that this thing is real? He says, the probabilities of extraterrestrial life or non-human intelligence aside, the best reason to doubt such secret keeping is that it would require too much of a government that has let so many major secrets slip over the last 75 years. He says, the deep state let the Soviets steal atomic secrets and the mainstream press publish the Pentagon Papers. Right. It had its Cold War laundry aired by the Church Committee. It saw much of the war on terrorism architecture rapidly exposed. So it's hard to see how it could have kept a lid on programs to study actual extraterrestrial or interdimensional visitors, especially over generations, and especially if we're supposed to believe that well, private contractors are part of the cover-up as well. Yes, um, but I guess the retort to that would be, well, they're not successfully covering it up because there's all these people who claim to have direct information saying that it is a cover-up, that we have encountered alien life, and they have the information, and we're in the, we're in the middle ground stage where there are all sorts of people who have exposed that falsehood, and now we're just waiting for additional verification, is yeah. I guess would be the... Well, you does say the counter-argument is that there's stuff that we still don't know about, uh, Saudi connections to 9-11, um, you know... The, the, oh, there's Vivek. A <laughs> Vivek Ghost wrote this column. We're not allowed to say that. Not allowed to say, I wonder if there are any police informants among the January 6th crowd. I can't, can't say that. All right, okay. Well, the point yeah. is that he's, he's, he's open yeah. to it. But he just, he closes saying that, you know, there, there's no reason not to share the truth if you think you have possession of it, trusting that the American people have a high tolerance for weirdness and that in the long run, only truth will set us free. If there are any government informants uh, within my my mob, the Robbie's mob to storm the <laughs> alien building. Um, snitches get stitches. That's all I'm saying. More rising right after this.